Alright boys, we just picked up a uh, brand new four-wheeler. We, oh, I got food right there. Alright, I mean, y'all didn't see my face like up close, so I'm pretty ugly, I know. But, uh, we picked up a brand new four-wheeler today. Not we, my grandpa. Uh, his four-wheeler broke down. And, uh, it's in the back. It's a 2020 Yamaha Kodiak. It's a 450. Oh, that cut off. I forgot the phone call. But, uh, we're fixing to start this up. Got the key right here. Back it off. I'm waiting for Caden to get here just in case something goes wrong and it slips off the ramp or something. But uh, it should go good. Uh, I guess I can do a review on it as well. It looks kind of like the Ranchers except more Chinese made. We'll see about it though. I like it. I like it. So it's out the truck. It is like green. They have a special color for that. I don't know. It's, it's a little uh, bit lighter than OD green. Yeah. It's a Kodiak 450. It's a nice truck. It's a Yamaha Kodiak 450. And it looks pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of a brute force in the front, but I mean, it looks nice. It's got a lot more ground clearance in the back than I thought it did. My dad used to have a Big Bear 450 before a, a crackhead hit it yeah. and threw it up in a tree. I mean, it's not tall. It's like my waist, but I'm not that tall either. Yeah, I'm going to do a startup for you guys. This is just the base model of it. It's only six grand. It's quiet. It's perfect for my grandpa, though. He loves it. Fixing to drive it over to his house and uh, show him it. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, test ride for the uh, 2020 uh, Kodiak. It actually shifts real, real nice. Uh, only thing I don't like about them is how the keys way up here and how this way up there. I like it like, right here and where mine is up there on my Can Am. I know the newer Can Ams are like that too. simple i mean it's the basic model so you just got your four-wheel drive it locks in two-wheel drive and then you got your headlights high beam low beam and off you got your kill switch your start button your key is up there your shift is up here uh, emergency brakes down there just got front and right uh Right and left break. It's nice, I like it. I don't think that emergency brake really works well. But uh, I'll do a walk around. For you guys, in case you haven't seen one yet and you want one, um, I guess I could do kind of a complaint. I don't really have any complaints, really. I mean, it's a nice bike. I mean, shoot, six grand, you get uh, this bike right here. The only thing I could uh, really ask for better is the belt exhaust, it just comes up right here. So, if you are using this for mud or water uh when you do a wheelie it'll uh, go under and do that the um scramblers and stuff are like that as well and the uh sportsmen's are like that as well uh, underneath it's real nice it's got this nice protective shield right here over the radiator 
and comes in front. I really, really do like the uh, front bumper look, though. I mean, to me, it kind of looks like a brute force wood, but I mean, it looks really nice. I like it. It's nothing I couldn't complain about. Headlights look good. They're well protected, too. It's got all reflectors and stuff. If you want to get to your radiator, I'm pretty sure this just pops out. You may have to undo that. But no, that's for the bumper. This just pops out. I'm not going to mess with it. It's not mine. Yeah, it just pops out. It's real nice, though. I really do like this nice fat wide throttle. Can have some uh, players just have that. Honda doesn't. They may have it on the newer ones, but on the older ones, they had the skinny throttle. Uh, for stock tires, you got these. They're kind of like Mudzilla's, but they're like less than Mudzilla's. Let's see what they are. I can't tell. They're CSTs. Is that a brand? I don't know. If you know in the comments, let me know. It's a nice tire, though. I mean, you get about inch, not even, quarter of an inch, half an inch of tire, and it's a real soft tread, too. It's good. It's a good pattern to me. Looks good. Uh, you just got your regular black painted wheels, and then it's got all these plastics on it. To me, it kind of looks like a rancher with the uh, side piece, but uh, a little bit more curved than a rancher. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's going to be great for my grandpa. Actually, I'll show you guys. This is his new four-wheeler. His old four-wheeler is over here. And he's going to put the back basket in the front box on that four-wheeler over there. The Yamaha. So that one is a 2020. This one is a 2006. It is a Honda Rancher 400 or 350. Pretty sure it's a... He calls it a 400. I'm pretty sure it's a 350 though. It may be a 400. Let me look if it has it on the side piece somewhere. Let's see, Rancher, Rancher. That may be a 400, I don't know. But uh, it's all electric. You can switch it from auto to ESP. Uh, it's got a winch, it's got choke. And it's got uh, all that. Uh, the only thing that's wrong with it is this right here is the angle sensor it's basically when like it's basically like your gear so when it's electric shifting this is what uh shifts it basically and it uh monitors everything so we took the carburetor off and apparently you're supposed to unplug these before you do anything because it'll send a code and you have to restart it so if you're going to change a carb uh, it has a sensor to where you pull, if you pull a throttle cable out or the choke, it will go off and uh, your bike will be stuck in first gear for a long time to uh, do the code. But uh, yeah, it, it works good. I mean, he hadn't done anything to it since he bought it. It's a good bike. Yeah, if it, we, get, we ordered the part for it. If it works, then uh, he's going to probably keep it. If not, we're going to sell it to one of my friends, Chris. He's a he ain't been on the channel before, I don't think. He's a lot older than me, though. But yeah, this is a, uh, the uh, 2020 Yamaha Review. It is nice. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this or a uh, Seaforce for an older person. They are very, very, very good. Poor Willers for just tootling around and going into the woods. I mean... This thing is real quiet, too. That's what I like about it. So if I was going to use this for hunting, real quiet. I mean, that's nice. You can barely hear this thing coming. It's silent but deadly. That's why I don't like the uh, kicky buddy on there. You got to reach over the bike. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. You could greatly use it, you know. That's kind of that's kind of weird. <laughs> you see how the differential is uh to the right more than it is to the left. Like they're supposed to be in the center. I don't know if that like does anything. I wonder if like one axle is longer than the other.
No, it's not, because that's closer this way, and this is pulled out that way. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Looks nice. I think this one's going to do a lot of good for him. That exhaust is hot. Huh. Alright, well, I'll to wrap it up for this video. So, again, if you're new, like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, put it down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. Uh, my internet just got back up today, so I'll be posting all the other videos that I didn't get to post. About the Can-Am and the Honda. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later.